Hi dear students, how are you? I hope all are fine. Okay, today let me explain about the electronic configuration. What is electronic configuration? Electronic configuration in the sense the distribution of electrons into different orbitals is called electronic configuration. Okay, simply we have to distribute the electrons into different orbitals is called electronic configuration. Okay, next electronic configuration is represented with analog notation, I mean method or Mollet diagram. Already we discussed about Moira diagram. If you didn't see Moira diagram, then link I will give in the description and as well as in cards also I will keep how to see. Okay. Now let me explain about analog method. What is analog method? Analog method in the sense simply by using analog method we can write the electronic configuration of all the atoms. Okay. See here N L X. Here N in the sense principal quantum number or orbit number. L in the sense azimuthal quantum number. X means number of electrons 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on etc. Okay. Now let me give one example then you will understand. Okay. See. Hydrogen. Atomic number 1. In the hydrogen how many electrons are there? One electron is there. Okay. See. This is the diagram of hydrogen. It is the first shell of hydrogen. I mean K shell. It is the nucleus of hydrogen. Now in this K shell S subshell is there. In this S subshell again 1S orbital is there. In that orbital electron is there okay now we have to write electronic configuration for that electron by using analog method okay see now electronic configuration of hydrogen is equal to analogs here n in the sense orbit number orbit number how much first orbit and l means azimuthal count number it is s orbital okay now x how many electrons are there one electron is there so now the electronic configuration of hydrogen is 1s1 okay like that we will write for all the atoms have you understood okay now let me explain some important points regarding atom see inner shell electrons are called core electrons this point out remember in the for example this is the atom in this atom now shells are there k shell l shell m shell i mean first shell second shell third shell still so many are there these three have to consider okay now in k shell two electrons can fill okay where is the second electron See, this is the second electron. Now, in K shell, two electrons can fill. And uh, in L shell, eight electrons can fill. Okay. In M shell, 18 electrons can fill. But here I wrote only one. Okay. Just for example, I am saying this one. Okay. Now, see. Now, here, core electrons in the sense, the inner electrons, I mean, K shell, L shell are inner shells. So, inner shell electrons are called core electrons. Okay. Now, the electrons that are added to the shell with the highest principal quantum number n are called valency electrons or outermost shell electrons. Simply, the last shell electrons are called valency electrons. Okay, because they have more principal quantum number, highest principal quantum number. Okay, now in the highest principal quantum number, how many electrons are there? Those are called valency electrons or outermost shell electrons. Okay, next see nucleus plus inner shell electrons are called kernel. Okay, see. This nucleus and uh, inside how many inner shell electrons are there? Those all and uh, this nucleus except uh, outermost shell electrons are called kernel. Okay, this point I would remember. And next last point is protons plus neutrons are commonly called nucleons because protons, neutrons present in the nucleus. So they are called nucleons. In the nucleus, protons, neutrons are there. So they are called nucleons. This point also I would remember. Okay. Okay, now let me explain 1 to 30 atoms electronic configuration. Okay, see. Before that, uh, have to know about Moira diagram. Already I discussed it. Once you have to see this diagram. And uh, this also, this point also you have to remember. In S orbital, 2 electrons can fill. In P orbital, 6 electrons can fill. In D orbital, 10 electrons can fill. In F orbital, 14 electrons can fill. This is the capacity of uh, SPDF orbitals. Okay, see. Now, hydrogen atom, symbol H, atomic number 1, electronic configuration 1s1, okay, first the one electron is there, that electron will go to 1s orbital, okay, next, helium, symbol H, atomic number 2, electronic configuration 1s2, here, two electrons are there, that two electrons will go to 1s2, now, s orbital capacity completed, okay, I mean, two electrons filled, next, lithium, Symbol Li atomic number 3, 
and electronic configuration 1 s 2 2 s 1 now this orbital completely filled now the third electron will go to 2 s 1 now 1 s 2 already filled 2 s 1 3 electrons okay so we can write this one as like this also helium 2 s 1 okay next beryllium symbol be atomic number 4 1 s 2 2 s 2 because s orbital capacity 2 this s orbital also completed i mean this s orbital also completely filled okay this one we can write as helium 2 s 2 next boron symbol b atomic number 5 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 1 here already 1 s 2 2 s 2 completely filled the next electron will go to 2 p 1 okay so this one you can write as helium 2 s 2 2 p 1 next carbon symbol c atomic number 6 electronic configuration 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 2 here p electron capacity 6 electrons up to 6 electrons you have to fill not a problem okay now here we can write this one as helium 2 s 2 2 p 2 next nitrogen symbol n atomic number 7 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 3 or are helium 2 s 2 2 p 3 next oxygen symbol o atomic number 8 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 4 or helium 2 s 2 2 p 4 next fluorine symbol f atomic number 9 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 5 or are helium 2 s 2 2 p 5 next neon symbol n e atomic number 10 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 okay now here 2 p are all completely filled with 6 electrons so if next electron is there then that electron will go to next orbital that is 3 s 1 okay okay next sodium symbol n a atomic number 11 electronic configuration 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 1 or r neon 3 s 1 see here 2 p 6 completely filled now one electron is there that one electron will go to 3 s 1 so by using model diagram we can write electronic configuration in this way model diagram is very helpful to write the electronic configuration in this way remember okay next see magnesium symbol mg atomic number 12 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 now s orbital capacity completed if another electron is there that electron will go to 3 p orbital this one you can write as again neon 3 s 2 okay next aluminium symbol al atomic number 13 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 1 here see here see 3 p 1 now we can write it as again neon 3 s 2 3 p 1 okay now this p orbital should fill with 6 electrons until then all same okay see 14 silicon symbol si atomic number 14 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 3 s 2 3 p 2 or neon 3 s 2 3 p 2 phosphorus p 15 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 3 or neon 3 s 2 3 p 3 sulfur s 16 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 4 or neon 3 s 2 3 p 4 chlorine cl 17 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 5 or r neon 3 s 2 3 p 5 have you understood okay next argon symbol ar atomic number 18 electronic configuration 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 6 okay here 3 p orbital completely filled if next electron is there that electron will go to 4 s orbital okay see next 19 potassium symbol k atomic number 19 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 6 4 s 1 or r argon 4 s 1 okay next calcium ca 20 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 6 4 s 2 or argon 4 s 2 now here 4 s orbital also completely filled next electron will go to 3 d orbital see here scandium sc atomic number 21 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 6 4 s 2 3 d 1 or argon 4 s 2 3 d 1 now here d orbital capacity 10 up to 10 electrons it will it can fill see next titanium ti 22 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 6 4 s 2 3 d 2 or r argon 4 s 2 3 d 2 next vanadium v 23 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 6 4 s 2 3 d 3 or r argon 4 s 2 3 d 3 okay next chromium symbol cr atomic number 24 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 6 4 s 2 3 d 4 or r argon 4 s 2 3 d 4 next manganese mn 25 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 6 4 s 2 3 d 5 or r argon 4 s 2 3 d 5 next iron fe 26 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 6 4 s 2 3 d 6 or r argon 4 s 2 3 d 6 next cobalt co capital c small o 
ंग Electronic configuration of chromium and electronic configuration of copper both are wrong. Why these two are wrong? Now let me discuss about this. Okay, okay. Now we are questioning is why the electronic configuration of chromium and copper are wrong. Now the answer is off-field and completely filled degenerate orbitals gives greater stability to the atoms. Okay. See, this is off-field d orbital. This is completely filled d orbital. Because of this off-field d orbital and completely filled d orbitals, atom can get extra stability. Okay, except these two remaining d orbitals are there. They are not that much stable than this. Okay, so off-field d orbital, completely filled d orbitals can give extra stability due to this reason. The electronic configuration of chromium and copper can change now. See how it will change. Now here. Chromium that is called 24. I mean atomic number 24. Copper atomic number 29 have anomalous electronic configuration due to this reason. Okay, what is this electronic configuration? Anomalous electronic configuration. This point I have to remember. Now the correct electronic configuration of chromium copper are chromium actually before we wrote like this argon 4s to 3d4, but it is wrong because 3d4 is unstable orbital. Now here to get the stability. One of the electron can jump from 4s to 3d4 to get off-field d orbital. Okay, then it will change into 4s1, 3d5. Okay, so this is correct. This is wrong. Next, copper also same. Due to this reason, here 4s to 3d9 actually. But here one of the 4s electron can jump from 4s to 3d. Then it got Fully filled 3d10 electronic configuration. It is highly stable. So the electronic configuration is 4s1, 3d10. This is correct. This is wrong. Now the correct electronic configuration of copper is argon 4s1, 3d10. Okay. So this one, this one correct. Chromium electronic configuration, this one correct. Copper electronic configuration, this one correct. These two wrong. Okay. This point I have to remember. And next p3, p6. D5, D10, F7, F14 electronic configurations are more stable due to off-field and full-field electronic configuration. P3, P6, these are off-field and full-field, off-field, full-field, off-field, full-field. Okay, due to this reason, these orbitals can get extra stability. Now, let me give some examples. Niobium 41, 5s0, 4d5. Okay, and molybdenum 42, 5s1. 45, palladium 46, 5s0, 4d10, silver 47, 5s1, 4d10, and zirconium 64, 6s2, 5d1, 4s7, and gold I mean aram 79, 6s1, 5d10, 4f14. Okay, have you understood clearly? Okay, this is today's class. If you like this video, then press the like button and please subscribe my channel. Thank you. All the best.